The Dying Swan, originally named The Swan, is an iconic solo dance in classical ballet, typically performed by a female ballerina. It was originally choreographed for the Marinsky Theatre ballerina, Anna Pavlova, in 1905. Pavlova recounted that she was inspired by observing swans in public parks and reading Lord Tennyson's poem The Dying Swan. She approached Michelle Fakine to choreograph a solo dance for her to perform at a gala concert organized by artists from the Imperial Marinsky Opera Chorus. Fakine recommended the use of Camille Sansons's cello solo La Senia and Pavlova agreed. The short, four-minute-long ballet may not pose extreme technical challenges to the dancer, but it carries a heavy artistic burden as every movement and gesture must convey a distinct emotion, as the dancer portrays someone struggling against death. It is said that Pavlova herself performed the piece approximately 4,000 times, and on her deathbed, reportedly cried, prepare my swan costume. Modern performances of the ballet have deviated from the original conception due to the influence of the world-renowned ballet Swan Lake and its tragic story of a princess cursed to live as a swan. However, fans of the original variation explain that at its core the dance is a symbol of the everlasting battle against mortality. The struggling swan exemplifies the theme of the futile fight against death. The Dying Swan Ballet has had a lasting impact, shaping contemporary renditions of Odette in Tchaikovsky's Swan Lake and sparking imaginative reinterpretations and adaptations of the dance. One notable variation is Maya Plesetskaya's. She said she interpreted the swan as elderly and stubbornly resisting the effects of aging, much like herself. Reportedly, her audiences would become hysterical, forcing her to perform an encore. Such success allowed her to dance that particular ballet until her late 60s. The ballet's emotional depth and powerful imagery have captivated audiences for over a century, making it a timeless classic that continues to inspire new generations of dancers. The Dying Swan is not just a simple dance, but a symbol of beauty, grace, and the delicate balance between life and death.